Let me guess. You need a voice AI agent live yesterday, but you don't have time to build it from scratch. Good news. Synthflow comes with templates that do most of the work for you. In this video, I'll show you how to go from zero to working voice agent in just a few clicks. No code, no headaches. Hey, I'm Caleb from Synthflow. If you're new here, we make videos that help you scale voice automation fast without sacrificing experience or control. If that sounds like your world, hit subscribe so you don't miss out. Let's dive right in. Step one, creating your agent. We're in the Synthflow dashboard. At the top right, click Create Agent. You'll see two options, build from scratch or use a template. We're going with the template because that's what saves you hours of setup time. Step two, we're gonna pick the right template. Inside the template library, you can browse by use case or use a filter. Let's say you're in real estate handling inbound leads, we'll click the real estate inbound agent. You'll see a quick description of what it does, greets new leads professionally, asks qualifying questions, collects preferences like price range, location, and timeline. If it fits your needs, hit create agent. Step three, configure the basics. Now we're in the configurations panel. This template already has English as the language. You can change that if you like. A realistic voice, click listen to preview, or you can pick another. Your LLM model pre-selected, currently GPT, or o, but you can choose another for speed or depth, and a ready-to-go greeting you can edit. You'll also see time zone settings, a knowledge base section where you can upload any information that your agent needs to know, custom vocabulary, filter words, new voice parameters like speed, volume, interruption sensitivity. We'll keep these default for now, that's our recommendation, but you can fine tune these after you test. Step four, we're gonna dive into the prompt. This is where you teach your agent how to think during the call. Some sections include background context, target audience, tone and personality, objection handling, call structure and questions. Every part of this is editable. Change the tone, add questions, tweak the intro, whatever fits your brand or tone. So you can edit in the text prompt editor, which is what we're using now, or switch to the flow designer for a drag and drop build. Step five, add actions. Head to the actions tab if you want your agent to do more than just talk. You can set actions before, during, or after the call. For example, real-time booking, call transfers, sending an SMS, extracting information from the call, custom evaluations, and if you're not using integrations yet, you can still review lead details manually in your call transcripts. Step six, deploy your agent. Go to the deployment tab to assign a phone number, connect integrations like Go High Level or Zapier, install ready-made workflow snapshots, and for the purposes of this video, we'll skip deep integrations for now and just get the agent live. Step seven, run a test call. Click test agent, enter your name and phone number and hit call me. A few seconds later, your phone rings. This call will be recorded. Hi there, am I speaking with John Doe? That's your AI agent live, talking and ready. Step eight, review calls. After the call, click the Calls tab. Here, you'll see contact details, call date and time, call duration, the status, whether it was completed, went to voicemail or failed. You'll see a full transcript and a full recording that you can replay. You also have the option to rate the call to fine tune your AI. This is where you verify lead quality, check conversation flow, and manually capture details if you're not running any automations. Step nine, check analytics. For a bigger picture, open analytics from the left-hand menu. The analytics dashboard shows sentiment trends, agent performance like minutes, calls, and success rate, call statistics, things like status breakdown, average duration, end call reasons, failed call list. You're gonna wanna use dashboard analytics to spot trends, track improvements, and decide where fine tuning is needed. And that's it, you've deployed a working AI agent in just minutes. From here, the fastest way to improve your agents is to test, review, and fine tune until it sounds and performs exactly the way you want. And when you're ready, be sure to add in some automations and other integrations because Synflow AI agents do way more than just talk. Check out the next video here to keep learning. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.